Hello, hello. Welcome back, it's me, the Nega Sister. The lovely new chest piece that I have crafted. I honestly don't know if it's even better than what I had. To be honest, it probably isn't. But I was ready for a change. Ready for something new. Speaking of something new, uh, this ain't new. Uh, we're, we're in a, a party at the moment for Ulderman. I want to get that uh, final, final quest complete. While they're filling, though, I'm going to start doing a few little quests. In Tanaris here. Kind of figured they might take a little bit to fill and I could do a bit of questing here, but they're actually filling pretty quickly. Uh, I was also trying to get in another Mara run for another chance at the pants, but... Uh, I, I got into one group, of course, the guy that was making the party was reserving the ring, as you do. And uh, I said, okay, well, look, you can have the ring as long as I get the pants. He's like, yeah, deal, man, deal. And I joined, and of course, every other person in the group is plate. Even the healer, I whispered the healer, hey, are you after the pants? Healer says yes. So, um, yeah, I uh, pieced out of that one. Join this one. Let's get the quest complete. Hopefully it's a nice, smooth, quick run. Uh, I am the highest level. So hopefully that means my DPS will be pretty decent. I am DPSing. The other paladin so far is going to be healing. Uh, but you know me, if, if, if things are getting tight, I'll definitely take a step back and try to heal as well. Make sure no one dies, including myself. Uh, we've got a hunter too, so that old uh, trick at the end there, pulling pulling the boss uh, to the previous room, that is on the cards. I, I really like that one. So, looking at this group, a caster would be ideal to bring in. Yeah, I'm not finding a single, uh, single sand thing here. We've also got. Uh, I'm, I'm still. I'm still in LFG. I can see a group for the um, elite quest in Hinterlands. I'm almost tempted to jump out and try and do that, but um, I don't know. I feel like there's kind of. If you get on during the day, there will be a plethora of options. So I'll do this one because if I keep leveling up, it's going to be even worse and worse for me to um, do Ulderman. As more and more of the dungeon starts becoming uh, zero XP gains. Ah, oh, so what's happening with me it is uh, I have slept. It is the next day since the previous episode. Got a little bit of rested, not a whole lot, and uh, just hopping on, trying to get a dungeon or two out of the way little bit of XP, get to level 51 probably, not going to be pushing today too far. I've also been busy, where am I going, let's see if we can kill this named guy uh, before we start the dungeon. Where's he gone? I know I highlighted his name previously. I found where he's supposed to be. So this, this is the new chest. Uh, the one I took off was like, what, 10 strength, something stamina, whatever. Um, but it was male. This is a plate one. It's got one crit, one dodge. <laughs> I really think it's, it's, it's not better. Not better than what I had, but like I said, I wanted a change. I wanted something new. So apparently... Uh, this warrior is not a tank. So I've just seen what our group is advertising for. They're advertising for a tank. Um, they asked me as well if I wanted to tank. I said... Uh, I don't have the weapon skill for it. Ultiman's a bit scary too. Like, I mean, maybe I should... I just... I, if I was going to tank... Especially my first time tanking as a paladin... I would want to do it with people I know, just in case there's shit that uh, I just get wrong. 
going to wait for my Seal of Wisdom mana. I'm going to put that on and then we'll start fighting. I'm also using Princess's Scepter. We got last night. I do not know. I do not know if this is actually uh, better than what I had. I found a lot of mixed information. There was information online saying that the weapon from uh, the Scarlet Monastery quest turn ends with like the one with 20 strength on it or whatever it is. Uh, there was a lot of information saying that's the best one and you just stay with that for ages. Um, found something else saying that the crit one, the two crit one from... Uh, God, there's, there's another group looking for a tank as well. Seems there is a, a large shortage of tanks on the server. Um, yeah, look, I, I found three different websites saying three different things about uh, which weapon I should be using. In the end, I just went for this one for the same reason I'm wearing the chest plate. I just wanted something new, something cool. I also think that the two crit one is probably superior to this, even though this has higher DPS. Um, but I've also seen things saying, you know, DPS is king. Should really just be going for whatever has the highest DPS on it, so... We'll figure it out. Who am I supposed to be killing here? So his name is Gore. Ta Gore. That should be enough to find out if he's here or if he's in another camp. Gore, Gore, Gore. Wait, was that him? Gormok the Ravager. So he's meant to be this direction. So he's. Alright, this kind of makes sense. He's, he's most likely going to be in here, isn't he? Um, oh, if you're following me by yourself, I'll take you out. Um, if it really is too hard to find a tank, I might just keep my eyes open for uh, these other groups. Wow. <laughs> this guy's level 47. We missed him for an entire 10 seconds to let our judgment uh, drop off. That is pretty sad. Thing, no better options yet in the uh, LFG channel. Maybe I should have gone and healed that uh, other group. Everything's just looking for a tank. Maybe that's what I gotta do. Maybe I'll have a chat with Wes, uh, see what he was doing with tanking, make sure I know what I'm doing, get my weapon skill up. I've got uh, Thrash Blade now. That'd probably be a pretty good tanking weapon. It's very slow. Again, I don't know if slow weapons are good for pallies. I did see something saying fast weapons are superior. But you are the man we want. You're not elite. There's nothing special about you. Let's go. Good start with the critical attack. Very tall man. Ogre down. It's funny, now there's heaps of people looking for uh, ZF runs. But I don't think I'm going to bother with ZF anymore. BFD. Sunken Temple. I mean, I'd be keen to do a Sunken Temple, but this Sunken Temple group's looking for a tank as well. I think it's pretty understandable. Pretty understandable that folks on a hardcore server are a little bit more reluctant to uh, tank. You're putting your life in someone else's hands. Oh, hang on. Oh, yeah, yeah, we need enforcers. I only need two more of these, and then four more brutes. There's a brute right there. Ah, 
Yes, yeah, I'm 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 pretty excited. I'm excited for what's to come. Don't want to say too much about it yet though. Just in case, you know, don't count your, your chickens before they hatch and your eggs before they hatch. But uh, something new is coming. Which is going to be needed because we are nearly level 51. It's not that long until we're going to be 60. <laughs> I hope at least. I say that, but the journey to 60 is probably going to be monstrous. Probably going to need like three episodes per level. Okay, there's our last enforcer over there. Looking for brutes. There's a brute. A couple of brutes here. Let's go, baby. Try to keep an eye on the chat, see what's see what's going on. I don't really care what I do, as long as it's either uh, Alderman to finish off the uh, quest. Or uh, Mara to get the legs. Or, um, I keep forgetting the name of this place, Hinterlands. Hinterlands Elite Quests with a competent group. <laughs> Not going to do that one with an unknown group. I only need uh, brutes now. Why did I think there was two brutes here? There's two brutes in this direction at least. Big crit. These are tanky boys. Crit uh, barely took much health off him. Top up our health. Be pretty funny if we just end up uh, solo questing for the entire time because we can't get it in any groups with a tank. I mean, how, how bad is it if I chuck on my sword right now? Doing 9 damage per swing. Probably should have done this when I was already at full health. Do one of these. As long as we're just hitting him, even if it's 9 damage, we'll still be getting the heals off. And we went 10 seconds without hitting him. Awesome. <laughs> I'm out of mana. <laughs> I have a feeling this is going to be a kill where where most of the damage is done by our Retribution Aura. Should have thought about this a little bit more before I started. In fact, it's not too late to pull out. Let's just kill this guy, get our health up, get our mana up, uh, and then we'll, we'll do a little bit of experimentation with the sword. Then again, now that I think about it, that's also a pretty silly idea. You guys aren't here to watch me increase my weapon skill. That must be about as exciting as watching paint dry, so we'll uh, table that idea for now. Hmm, old mate's over here doing these. I think that is the next place I'm going to be going. We'll get these, then we'll go get the turtle. Bring him cross country. And then I think that's it for Tanaris. We do have lots of options though. Got a lot of options of other places to quest. Oh, I didn't even notice. Uh, a druid joined. Guess he's our tank. Let's leave LFG. I will run over and turn this in. Gotta go Badlands, which is the other continent. So 
So I hope this... Uh, I actually don't remember what the... Um, what the recommended level for all demand was anymore. Like, what was the level of the last guy? Was he... Wasn't, was he 50? Um, Alderman last boss level. He's 47, is that right? Uh, let's turn in here. I'm his money friend. Perfect! These ornaments are perfect for my studies. Thanks so much for the help, adventurer. Oh, can I get my helmet back? This dude is, uh... <laughs> the hunter apparently doesn't want to stop doing his quest until he's done. Are we heading over? Aimed at the hunter. I don't think this hunter wants to leave until he's done his quest. That's a little bit annoying. Oh, he has the hearth, so that's all good. He'll he'll head over when the time is right. text someone I am going for a run after I finish uh, this recording I've just found out letting him know what I'm doing letting him know if this all demand goes a little bit late so I might be late to the run for me, adventurer. Thanks for your help. neither of these I really care about so let's just get the highest value one and sell it All right, this should be interesting. I got the best deal anywhere. Do, do, do. All right, mate. This might mean we don't hit fifty-one this episode, depending on how long it takes us here. Wonder what is what is the best way? It's probably still going Lock Medan, I'd imagine. Rather than Siren Gorge, that's probably really uh, a lot longer to get there. I picked up a bunch of... Uh, 50 was very good for Paladin uh, levels, by the way. I got a new level of Flash of Light, new level of Consecrate, a uh, new level of Seal of Command, new level of everything. Just about everything had a new level. So we're packing some extra heat. Let's go Lock Medan. My danger is when I have something on my toolbar twice. Reason being, if I'm healing and I want to use Seal of Command and I'm on my healing meter, it ain't there. So that's why I've got it on there twice, a couple of these things. Um, all right, so I'm going to skip the rest of this travel. Uh, as much as I enjoy, I enjoy shit like this. Hearing the music, flying around. I find it pretty peaceful, but you can all do that <laughs> at any time. So we'll skip ahead. I will see you at the entrance to Ulderman. Alright, that was a really long wait. These guys really took their time getting here. I was, uh... We're finally, we're finally getting going, though. And the group is already splitting up in multiple directions. Looking like they, uh, these guys want to do the quest that's over here, I think. Uh... Druid just wants to run in. I think these guys want to... F I don't know. What is what is going on? Can we grab a solution to Doom quick, please? Yeah, yeah. So the guys... Uh, the tanks just ignored their request to uh, come down here and do this quest, unfortunately. Not a good sign. Ah, he's finally back here. Oh, 
Let's get this show on the road. Let's clear it out so they can access this thing. Get the DPS pumping. One of the guys I said they're scared to run dungeons like this. It's like a vision of my past. I understand where you're coming from, buddy. I'll say only gets spicy at the end. Pretty tame at the start. Alright, let's go, let's get this done. I want to get my quest complete. Uh, is this even the right way? I think so. I think we're just jumping down, aren't we? Uh, they're already talking about uh, kiting the last boss. And uh, agreed on kite. I like that. I like that a lot. And they know what they're talking about. The hunter knows what he's doing too. He dokey. So... Let's do this. I will do the mites and wisdoms. Uh, he's already given himself wisdom. I'll say to Cheek, do you want to do the salves and I'll do the others? Because mine will be stronger than his. Oh, apparently not. Apparently his wisdom is better than mine. Interesting. And well, that doesn't really matter. Who has that one? Given myself wisdom from my previous experience, it seems it seems better to be getting that mana back so that I don't have to think too much about conserving mana as I go. Look at that, look at that DPS meter, Mega Sister at the top. Undeniable, unbeatable. But also not in not in front by much compared to uh the 45 warrior. Pretty much beating or keeping up with the level 50 paladin. Jeez, even with Sal for uh, one big crit. It's enough for me to take threat. Lucky for me, um, I'm quite capable of tanking in here for uh, decent amounts of time. I, honestly, I'm probably the best person to tank. Uh, but like I said, my inexperience combined with my lack of one-handed weapon skill, probably not a good idea. But it's something I will look into. Is he going? I should also have a look at what I'm supposed to be doing. Uh, restoring the necklace. Let's look this one up. Can't I do it? Oh, here we go. Restoring. Oh boy. What am I doing here? Restoring the necklace. Starts from uh, a drop. Yeah, I've already done that. Um, 
head to Talvash in Ironforge. We'll now give you a quest. Law for a price. Hang on, if I buggered this up. Drop by someone in there. Upon looting it, right click the quest to begin the Shattered Necklace. Head to someone in Ironforge to complete it. Have I really messed this up and I was actually supposed to go to Ironforge? To uh, someone up here apparently. I think I have, but I also don't care. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not really too fussed about this one. It's the other one that I'm keen on. Let me check, get thingy in here. Yee yee, say the guys. Looking like we're only coming in here for the 14 slot bag quest. Good enough. Good enough. Oh yeah, they want the, uh, the vase over there in the corner. With the urn. As I believe it's called in here. Where's he going? That's not the way. Oh, the uh, dwarves are up here. True silver. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. True silver. Sweet. Actually, this isn't the first one, is it? I've gotten this before. Doesn't look like... Um, can anyone else do it? Oh, you can. Anyone else? No? Right. Leave it behind. Not like it's worth that much. Oh, actually it is. 30 silver. Did they get their vase? Doesn't look like it. Maybe they're not on that quest. I'm not going to complain. Uh, why is he going this? Oh, actually, there was another quest over here, wasn't there? Remember that happened to us. We had to ask the tank to come back this way. Let's go, big man. What's going on here? Where is the warrior? Probably let someone with a uh, faster swing timer kill these um, these little totems. Very inefficient for a rep paladin to do it. We'll say though this weapon is a little bit faster than um, the previous one that I had. The actual pure weapon damage, uh, 126 to 190, is the same as my previous weapon. It's just that it hits faster. Oh, he's going in. Oh, I think our consecrate's ticking for forty now. That's the uh, the upgraded upgraded level after hitting fifty. Let's see cloth gloves that I don't care about. Gonna see if I can manage to. Uh... Oh my, that's a that's a couple of ads. Wish I had full mana for this. I could be uh, pumping the DPS. We're not really taking damage though, so that's that's. You know, I'm pretty okay with everything that happened just then. Shame we don't have a mage. I don't want to use my 
good mana drinks. Maybe we swap... Swap our Seal of Wisdom in for a bit. Seems like a bit of a waste, though. Let's see. See what the results end up being. Really want to Consecrate. I mean, it's going up. Mana is going up. Oh, that... Oh, this looks exactly the same as the hammer I've got. Yeah, the mana's going up quite nicely, actually. Not a bad option when I start getting low. Just whack on the old seal of wisdom for a bit. It's okay if he runs. We'll take care of anything that comes through. For now, at least. Later on, that'll be more of an issue. And we're at 100% mana. Just in time for the boss. Who has what we need? Don't think I've picked anything up. That sounded like something being crafted. And there he is putting it in the hole. This will be the last time we're here. Just make the most of it. The last time we'll hear this giant lady making strange noises. None may steal the secrets of the makers. What am I doing? I didn't switch back. There's my mistake. Here we go. Oh no, <laughs> getting all confused. Hunter is absolutely smashing me on DPS. Maybe because I had a bit of a late start, but also probably just because I'm not getting seal procs or crits. We live and die by the critical strikes. My critical at the moment is 15%. If we did swap out to the weapon we had before, it would be 17%. Any quest, says the bear. Let's go, gang. Oh, this is my moment. I'm ready to tank. Oh, look at that DPS. The bear's keeping up, though. He's doing very well. Is that just swipe? <laughs> Retribution Aura did 500 damage for him. That's pretty cool. Nearly put someone to sleep. going. This is probably about the time where I would start getting confused if I was in the lead here. Let's see, we can go left. I think that's like the secondary entrance. Uh, there's a lot of different paths we can go here. Uh, one of these is the enchanting. All right, so this is the enchanting room. If you want to get the enchanting skills, you've got to come here. I will say nope. Actually, is it? No, this isn't it. There's no... Uh, there should be a little tent down there if it was. wonder if old mate knows where he's going. Cheek Clap is going to sleep. 
Maybe not. Why he's he's pulling absolutely everything. Maybe he just likes big numbers. I will admit I'm having a lot of fun hitting these things. <laughs> okay, let's continue on. It's a real interesting group. No one's even really taking damage yet. Even when the bear isn't tanking. Like I'm ripping threat, but I'm not... It doesn't look like I'm really needing to be healed at all. Our healer is in here DPSing the majority of the time. In fact, our healer is... Oh no, that's Girth. Where's Cheek? Let's have a look. Oh, never mind. Let's go... Those numbers. Four hundred D uh, DPS there. Oh. oh, so we did go to the Enchanter, even though no one needed it. This guy's being very thorough. And he looks like he's not quite sure where he's going, for sure. He's not saying anything, though. Well, this is a big pull. I've also got to rebuff people. It's my bad. Only had enough mana for one. Oh, there's a second Consecrate. We'll need a drink out. Well, we'll need a Seal of Wisdom after this. Or Moonberry Juice, 21. Once I get above 20, that's a free sign that I should start uh, having a drink. Let's rebuff. First one, I'll put a Wisdom on myself. Wisdom, Wisdom. Might, Wisdom. And Might on the tank. Don't quite have enough mana for it, though. Start the process of getting our mana back. That's all cleared out. We've got our boss. This is the tornado boss from memory. If it isn't, it uh, certainly looks like the room where the tornado boss was. Funny how all these are linked together. I don't remember this on the uh, first time we were here. It's not doing a great job of flying a siding. Basic tank skill missing. In saying that, these aren't really uh, much of a challenge. So I wouldn't say it's entirely necessary to do that. Got enough enemies to hit here that we should be full mana by the time we're fighting the boss. Put a mark on that uh, patrol. Not quite full mana, but close enough. Let's go. Ah, oh, of course I'm, uh... This is a problem with my strategy. I never remember to... Put my... Oh, can you... Please, tank. Can you move it out of there? So that I can actually cast things. <laughs> um... I think this is me. It's barely an upgrade. Um... Guess I'll take it. What does it look like? Yeah, it's cool looking. 
Oh, need if need, yeah. Was having a think about it. We need a minor upgrade. It's five defense. A lot smaller than my in my other gloves. I like the more slender place than the massive chunky ones. Why do I... I seriously don't remember these big AoE packs. <laughs> I must have been so scared the first time we came in here. So scared of fucking up and just following the leaders that I, I totally uh, erased all of this stuff from my mind. I also think we're going a completely different route. Look at all these. I think they're coming. They're definitely coming. Oh, too soon with your hunter trap. We're popping off. Back, he says. That's that's unexpected. We've actually picked something up in here. Wasn't expecting to do that. And it, uh, I think, what, nothing, nothing tells me, hey, you should start tanking more than picking up an item with plus defense on it. Level one, dead in Dunmoreau. It's once again, that's got to be someone doing the travel, trying to be cheeky. See, our buffs are about to fall off. The uh, tank buff fell off already. I think uh, we, me and the other pally, we must have the same might. So what that means is I will uh, stop miting him because we're just uh, erasing each other's mites. I'll give him a wisdom then. Oh, you know what I should do? I should give him um, the other one that makes him take increased heals. Then that would mean reorganizing my bars. And that sounds like a lot of work. What have we killed so far? We've killed... Did we? Yeah, we killed Ancient Stonekeeper. That's who we just killed. Wow, so that's random. I am so lucky that that's stamina strength. I didn't, I didn't realize that was a random enchant. Very fortunate. Why can't I see his pet? It's not showing up on the uh, pet bar. What are we doing right now? What are we doing, fellas? Sitting down and having a chat, are we? Now and in now. He ate all my mana. Why me? What that means... We <laughs> switch in the, uh, the wisdom. Ow.
Oh, he's eating my mana again. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh, yeah, there is a boss here. Make sure I don't have any shitty water I could be drinking. There's always a bunch of crap in my bags that I uh, forget that I have. Let me grab water after this guy, says the hunter. Huh? He's full mana. Once again, I've forgotten to switch my stuff over before a, before a boss. Yeah, bit of damage there. I would put on my fire aura, a resist aura, but uh, doesn't seem like we're going to need it. Stamina, spirit, yeah, it's a whatever. Yeah, it isn't what people came here for, a stamina, spirit, cape. What was his name? Um, Galgan. Ah, okay, so the hunter no doubt would have wanted the gun. Hang on, what? Oh, he must be going for a drink in real life. Fire spells, no one would have wanted that. I mean, look, there's not a whole lot. <laughs> Apparently, this is the, the Biss Pally tanking weapon. According to the Pally we were here last time with... Maybe I'll, I'll take this opportunity to get up my uh, sword skill a little bit. While no one's looking. I'll do it for one pack. What's the ability I'm actually thinking of? Is it Blessing of Light? Yeah, it is. Um, where am I going to put this? A bit awkward. We're never going to use this food. <laughs> Watch me never use this again. We could still clear that without him, right? Let's go, baby. Oh, big pack. Okay. Maybe we do want all hands on deck for this. Warrior is tanking. Again, he's doing a terrible job of line of sight. He just needs to step to the side a little bit and bring it in. That's what we want. Oh yeah, I'm using my. All right, let's let's end the uh, sword and board strategy with my 40 DPS. That was a pretty bad time to uh, do my sword and board strat. Level 35 just died in the Shimmering Flats to Scorpid Reaver. Really? Yeah, line of sight. That's better. He's going to bring in a few friends, I would imagine. Now that I think about it, I remember this being... This was the tricky part. This is when I... Uh, the tank really started taking damage. So it's interesting that we're doing this so easily. And again, they are a, they are a lot lower level than us. Tank's 48 as well, compared to 43. Maybe we were all like 45s and stuff when we were in here. It's too long ago to remember. Let's keep up the pace. This is Grimlock, I think, down here. Feels like surely we've missed something. 
Otherwise, we're going we're going pretty quick. Line of sight properly. Come, just come into this corner. Sorry, my uh, tank critiquing is coming out. If we all want to live, we all want to stay alive, makes sense to be, uh, you know, looking at stuff like that and saying, hey, you know, if we do this a bit better, better chance to live, even though I'm talking to myself and not actually telling the tank these things, so maybe I'm just crazy. I swear we're finally starting to get a small amount of experience from these guys. Wonder what happens if it's a grey boss. I'd imagine that means you just don't get anything from it. Uh, so we put the hunter pet on their pet last time. I can't remember why. I think it's because he could put people to sleep and you obviously don't want your healer to go asleep uh, pretty much full mana although everyone is about to run out of their buffs pulled just some rebuffing doesn't matter we should be killing the basilisk I think I'll be ready to stun it if it starts casting asleep that Ooh. I don't know if I got that in time he was about to put someone oh he put the pet to sleep I didn't get it in time Meanwhile, the healer's on full mana. <laughs> no, basically no one is uh, taking damage. This is, this is incredibly easy. In comparison to the last time I was here. Rimlock's charge. Nice hunter, he says. Oh yeah, 15 Agi. Hunter is very happy. Well, I'm glad that didn't drop the first time I was here, because I wouldn't have known if, if I should have taken that or not. I mean, it has got strength. Agi's good. I mean, look, I can imagine that would be a good Ret Paladin item. Obviously got better. I've got lots of options of what weapons I want to use. Oh, he's doing a line of sight pull. Don't have salve on me, but not too worried. I will be checking for that when we get to bosses, though. Myrmidon's cape. I like the longer capes. Do like them. Trying not to judge too much. If you have noticed, I'm not judging often. Just trying to conserve mana on these uh, sections where it doesn't really doesn't really matter if we're killing things quickly or not. Better to have mana when it counts. But stuff like this, boom, sparkle floor.
Any goes. Are we getting close to the uh, end rooms? I feel... Uh, I do remember a bit of anxiety in those end rooms, but uh, I'm feeling very confident this time. Famous last words, you may say. Yeah, let's go. Gonna have to have a look at what this warrior is using, because he's doing really well in the damage department. That's the weapon I had before. So that's that's the bone biter. That's the one where I saw some web bites, uh, website saying you don't replace that until like you're in your late into your fifties or mid fifties. Yes, it's the twenty strength on it, in comparison to stuff like potential to wound for 160 and lower armor by 100. Straight stats will always help you, whereas this thing you could go a whole fight and not have it proc, in which case you're just holding a stat stick with a, a high DPS number on it at that point. Let's continue on. Endurium True Silver. I'll get at least one tap of the True Silver. What are we waiting for, good sir? Get back, he says. Back the corner. Alright, that's... <laughs> He's... <laughs> He's half done it. I mean, look, it, it worked. Just did, what didn't really match what he said he was gonna do, like go go around the corner, and then he just stops halfway and he's like, "Yeah, I think I'll fight now." None of them were range attacking, so it all worked out. Time to redo our pally buffs with the zero mana that I have. Buff myself first. Get one tap on the true silver. Someone else get the next tap. Oh, looks like I can get a level out of this, maybe. I did. Sweet. Oh, look how much he's getting out of that. Little bastard. There... Uh, might, whiz, and special Healy Sauce. Uh, gonna try drinking, get a few ticks off here. There, yeah, once again, not line of sighting correctly. Honestly, could just charge into that. All these other guys are melee. They would follow. As soon as I put my Consecrate down, I reckon he's... He'll start moving. Why doesn't he just bring it over? What's he even doing? He's just staring. <laughs> this, was, this was my previous stressful room. Sure we'll be okay, though. Let's go, fellers. Oh, that was uh, a wound. I thought this was an instant hit. Wounds the target for 160 damage. But then it's got a 30 second timer on it. Oh, I'm actually getting hurt here. Got salve too. I'll just have to hold back a little bit. Um, when we're fighting bosses, you know, a single target, I'm sure he's going to be fine. It's probably just the AOE that made that a little bit trickier. Go for it, buddy. Uh, 
Don't you worry about me. Start attacking the big man. Yes, I knew. I knew he would come for me eventually. I can bubble at any time if threat gets a little bit too scary. Uh, it's not at the moment though. Alrighty. Okay, he says short here. He's about to launch into an explanation, I think. Here's the tricky part. You guys stay away from me, he says. When the mob is going to die. Ah, I do remember that. I do remember them uh, exploding when they get low. Nah, it's not that bad, says the other guy. <laughs> Alright. Let's go. I am quite happy to dip out when it gets low. And uh, not take a chance. Happy to follow those orders. There's a crit. Too easy. Well, there's our wound. It's done 90 damage. It's only still done in 90. Oh, I wasn't looking. I don't know about this wound. One more hit and I'll back out. Oh, I can't. Be ready to pick this other fella up. If the tank's not ready. Oh, the pet's gonna die. Poor pet. Someone doesn't have pet bars turned on. I'll save you. The sister is an ally of all animals. Unless they're evil animals, in which case we put them down. Um, so if I'm correct how that we did it last time with the kiting back, I'm going to be one of the lucky people that get to stay up here and half out if things go wrong. <laughs> Start rebuffing. Let's get it. Uh, I think they're all coming for me because I was buffing. My bad. I want to consecrate. I want to consecrate. I think I'll just save my mana for the next pack. Short air is actually taking a little bit of damage off these guys. I guess because we're not killing them as quickly as we have previously. Since I'm just chilling and getting my mana. My, my DPS is actually incredibly low. Did I... Maybe I did something wrong there. I swear I buffed this guy. Go, gang. Oh, your healer's having a drink. That's fine. Stay, he says. Woof, woof. Ah, uh, patrol coming through. Oh, he's a brave, brave man. They didn't so... Oh, they did. So we got a double... I didn't say a double pack, but... Have a challenging pack coming. It goes the Consecrate. Short hair is taking a fair bit of damage. Warrior is taking a fair bit of damage now. They can't keep up with my DPS though.
Interesting that our healer is only doing the uh, big fat heals. He's not doing flash of light. Looks like I'm tanking a fair bit of these guys now. Look at those numbers. Look at the consecrate damage. <laughs> 75% of my damage was Consecrate. That's broken. Though if there was a mage in here, that, that they would have absolutely demolished me as well. Sheesh, says Cheek Clapper. I think he was getting a bit worried there. Oh yeah, we've got one more pack to go. Try and get a little bit of natural regen happening here. Down on fillers. One more pack to kill. Thank you for the blessing of salve. Oh boy, where are they going? Going for the healer, I think. Stack him up. Probably rip thread on something sooner or later. It's a thing with uh, swipe. You can only hit, uh, I believe it can only hit three targets. this one okay tank plus heal plus hunter all back up soon as it activates run upstairs Whoops, wrong pink. Only need three. Run. Oh god, they <laughs> one of these guys doesn't know. Do you need me? He runs down, gets clapped by the boss. Here it comes. Did it start? <laughs> yes, it did. Yes, it did start. All right, let's get it. Get in there. It's looking at me. I don't like that. All right, coming at me. I'm going to watch what my health does here. Come on, torn off me, buddy. Feeling like I might have to uh, stop DPSing here. I'm just ripping off the, the, the tank constantly. I'm not even going hard. He's got a good lead now. Oh, I thought that was a waste of mana. <laughs> Should not have consecrated there. Alright, we're nearly there. For the makers. No one's health is even moving. Too easy. Alright, kaboom. Agility, intellect, finger. Yeah, that's a bit... That's a bit gross. I mean, maybe the hunter could use it. <laughs> Not a great combination uh, of stats on that. 
That could be really good though, if it had a good combination. All right, so I'm guessing this restoring the... Oh, so now it's... I did do something with it. It's complete somehow. What? Shattered necklace power source? Did I just not loot that last time? So this is what I was supposed to do the last time we were here. I had to click this and then take the miniature version of the distant organ on in Ironforge and that will uh, get us our bag, I believe. Uh, ancient treasure. I'll see what's in it. I won't take anything. Do I actually need any of these? I mean, it's a 14 slot bag. Oh, short hair rolls a 100. <laughs> Congratulations. Um, come in and finish your quests, guys, in this back room. Otherwise, thanks for the run. It'll be me piecing out. Let's see if we can get back to Tanaris in time, do a little bit more questing. That wasn't too bad. Oh, no, I've got to go to Ironforge. Uh, all right, so I'm going to do a little bit of traveling here. I actually have no idea how long this episode is, so uh, I'll need to figure that out. I'll figure that out while I'm traveling. I'll see you once I have this all sorted. Well, 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 fancy seeing you here. I am back. I've actually gone and done my uh, exercise for the afternoon and figured I'll <clears throat> finish what I started. Could have just left the episode there, but I did want to finish off Tanaris. So that's what we're going to do. We are going to get these insect parts. We're going to save Tuga. I wouldn't mind getting the Angoro Crater flight point as well. Uh, oh, Then again, Tuga's going to take us all the way over here, so maybe it's not worth doing that. Let's do one thing at a time. <clears throat> we got to kill some wasps. I will say as well, dear viewer, I am feeling very tired. <laughs> <laughs> I am feeling very tired after that exercise. But you gotta do what you gotta do. Sometimes you gotta push past your limits and finish a World of Warcraft episode that you left unfinished. I know the hunter from our group that was doing this earlier was complaining about the drop rate. I don't think I really need to look anything up to confirm that we might be here for a little bit. The good thing is, these seem to be dying pretty quickly. Uh, when I'm not missing them, that is. I'm getting a lot of misses here. Crit does help. And he survives. There's our first part. It's not too bad. Not too bad at all. I don't know if any of these <clears throat> have a particularly higher drop rate. I probably should be sticking to the... Hello? Oh, I am the perfect class to deal with these little things. Uh, Druid would be good as well with thorns. <clears throat> I am not worried about any little insects that may attack me. Um, I should probably ignore these uh, 4948s and stick to the... Oh, that was a 48 that I was killing. I guess 49 is yellow, 48 must be green. 49, 48, ah, oh, yeah, whatever. Look, they're, they're all pretty much the same. Let's smash them. We've got two of five parts already. Look at that, two of five. Sprinkle secret ingredient. <clears throat> Why do I not remember having this quest? Sprinkling gadgets in wants you to collect a violet something. Tragan, Tragan. In the Interlands. Okay, well, we're not going to be doing that. 
Maybe uh, next episode, though. I don't want to die. Used a shitty potion there. That uh, a little bit closer than I would have liked. Next thing you know, we're back to full health, or close enough. Um, yeah, I don't know about, uh, I don't know about the flight path now. I know that, uh, I was looking up, oh, whoopsie daisy, let's move away. Let's move away. There we go. Just trying to create more one-on-one -on -one time. One-on-one -on -one time with my favorite center par stinger. I, I know that there is a quest in Angoro. I believe it is Mwigan and Larian. Really done. Am I missing something here? Why was that guy struggling? Am I insanely lucky? Uh, Mwigan and Larian leads to a quest in Sunken Temple. And if we're looking at our list of dungeons... Uh, we're going to continue running Mara, but Sunken Temple is up next. So I am going to be slowly connecting, connecting, collecting Sunken Temple quests. Uh, both of those dungeons, Mara and ST, have things that I want. Um, here are my thoughts, though. <clears throat> Alderman, I remember being a shit show. I remember it being horrible. We've dealt with it pretty well, pretty easily. Zulfarak, I remember being a bit spicy, especially the pyramid. We've dealt with the pyramid really easily. Mara, I remember Mara being uh, very long, very dangerous. Probably a lot of these things probably I remember being difficult because we used to do it uh, under leveled. Sunken Temple, though. The Temple of Atal Akar. That would have to take the cake, surely. As uh, one of the more hated dungeons because of how bloody big it is and uh, how easy it is to get lost and not know where you're going. I mean, Blackrock Depths is... Ob <laughs> Blackrock Depths isn't a nightmare like Sunken Temple is, but Blackrock Depths is also extremely long. I don't know if I'll be able to fit that in a two-hour episode. Um, but I digress. This is a scary one. This may be, out of everything left, this may be the scariest for me. Especially that end boss. I remember... Oh, I remember people freaking out on that end boss. Things going wrong, people dying, needing to try again. Luckily, we are in a place where it seems like player knowledge is very high in every group that I go to. Start using our bandages. I, I, I used up all of our mage weave before. Um, I was going to sell the remaining bandages and I forgot to. So we might as well use them. Speed up our progress. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm a little bit concerned with Sunken Temple. But I do see it advertised pretty regularly. So uh, fingers crossed that it has become a uh, accepted sort of normal dungeon to run on a daily basis having a quick look through the gear seeing more random stats not a fan um, random 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 that doesn't really tell me anything about if any of these are going to be good or not that's our last part time to go get Tuga oh I oh I should really be leaving this this chat for when we get Tuga Tuga is going to be long and boring. We're going to need something to keep us entertained. So, uh, what is this? Rare Sorid the Devourer. Ah, Sor. Oh, he's, he's already got a moon on him. But I don't know where he is. So that leads me to believe he must be below us. Uh, I am not going... I'm not going down there. I will not go down there. I will not... We need to start hitting. Less misses, more hits.
Alright. Of course I do a big hit just as it was on 1% health. Keeping an eye on my health and mana. I think we're going to end up using a big potion here. Just to be safe. Let's do it. I've been getting a lot of these potions. So many that I feel uh, comfortable using them. Because I don't have to use them often. Or at least I haven't needed to use them often lately. Alright, I would like to continue my trip on my mount unmolested, if that's okay with you bugs. We'll leave your rare alone. You can stay alive for today. If you leave me alone as well. Let's go save Tuga. Tuga, I'm coming. The sister is here to save you. Bring you back to your turtle love. The only question is, when do we get this flight point? Alright, so we're not doing Ungoro next. By the time we come back here, we're probably going to want to pick up these quests at the entrance. Which means saving the flight point now does... Oh, are you kidding me? The one hit dismount. Well, you're going to pay for it. You wanted, you wanted to uh, box with God? Well... You're gonna regret it, glass eye petrifier. Yeah, you did. We're nearly there. Uh, yeah, I think Sunken, uh, not Sunken Devil. I think um, Hinterlands is probably next up. Hinterlands is another one. This is all in preparation for Sunken Temple. I feel like it's better to prioritize those, have them ready just in case we. Uh, something comes up and we happen to jump into a sunken temple group. Makes sense, right? A bit like uh, Ulderman, how... Or which one was it? Mara. It was like Mara. We didn't have all the quests ready and then... Suddenly we uh, we had a group. And we panicked because we're like, oh, I don't have all the quests. Alright. Let's go, Tuga. We need to make a line a little bit to the left, I think. Let's draw this line. Oh, it's, it's up here. I thought it was the cave for some reason. A little bit more to the left. That's good enough. Assuming we are not attacked on the way. Probably will be by this bird. I'm just going to stun it and keep running if it does. This gives us a chance to continue to look at uh, what potential loot we have. Probably already can guess the items that I'm after. Uh, so bal balcony mini boss. Oh, so this includes all of the mini bosses. So all of them have a potential to drop anything here, and they're all random. In other words, we don't care about the mini bosses. None of it's really. Well, none of the blue stuff is plate. So who cares? A towel, Alarian. I do see plate. Strength, stamina. Compared to oh, that is an incredible upgrade. What does it look like? It's gold. Doesn't quite match what we're wearing, but I, I have a feeling our outfit's going to be changing soon, so that doesn't matter either. So we have uh, Exhibit A, the tusk ring. We want that. Head spike pole arm. Uh, it's got the right stats on it. I think I would stick with the scepter, though. Spawn of Hakar. Leather boots and a green. What is what is with all of the cloaks in this game being absolute garbage? We haven't found a single good cloak yet. Um either way, spawn of a car. Who cares? Nothing on him. Avatar, this is the summon boss. This this would be why we are uh, doing those hinterlands quests. Um, and even if we don't get those done. I have a feeling every man and his dog is going to be able to do this um, to summon it. I feel like every dungeon we have gone to has been able to summon all the optional bosses. Um, we have another doo-doo cape full of spirit. Uh, interesting look though, that is very purple. I think that would be more of a caster or a healer cloak. Good for a healer. Warriors embrace plates. Dodge, 2%, Agi Stam. 
And if we are, you know, without even looking at what this looks like, kind of feels like our goal is to start tanking soon after picking up these gloves. So it would only make sense that we get this chest that doesn't matter what it looks like. Stats on it don't really seem that high. I guess 2% dodge is uh, higher than anything else so far, but... Right, so this is Exhibit B of items that we want. Shame it doesn't have strength on it. Leather pants, a little bit of everything on that. Male boots. Um, I mean, they've got a lot, of, a lot of stamina. I don't know who exactly these are designed for. Have a, I guess, a healer mace. A staff that we don't care about. So, Avatar of a car has... A lot of things on it. Yes, we're still going. We're still going the right way. Um, moving along. Jam Jamal Arn the Prophet. Heavy spirit cloth uh, vestment. <laughs> Absolutely hideous, though. Gloves. Oh, these are all... I think everything he's got is a super spirit kilt. Are these supposed to be worn together? I okay. When they're together, it makes makes a little bit more sense why it looks like that. Uh, either way, nothing on that boss that we would want to get away from me. You scorpion. Oh, okay. We're gonna have to kill it. Tuga has decided you die. I'm sorry, Scorpion Table Lasher. Tuga has spoken. This big old spiky mace. Funny that I hit it with the flat side. And not the side with the giant spike on it. I think that would do a little bit more damage. Oh, no point mounting. Let's go, Tuga. Where were we? Halfway through the bosses and... I'd say halfway through the trip. A little bit more. Uh, Alright, so nothing but caster stuff. I mean, hey, if I end up healing, I could probably take some of this stuff. Uh, Ogom the Wretched. Oh, lots of greens here. Guessing this isn't like a full-on proper boss. Um, yeah. Nothing here looks particularly promising. A very ugly one-handed hammer. Cool looking sword. You see what I mean? The swords in this game always look cooler than the other options. Dream Scythe. One of the dragons, I'm pretty sure. Another spirit stamina cloak. Every cloak in this game appears to be spirit stamina. Uh, cloth belt, leather, uh, spell power gloves. Interesting one handed sword. I like it. I suppose it depends on uh, how often the proc rate happens. Like that one in um, the other dungeon we went to, where uh, that paladin was really hyped for it over the drop rate. Uh, sorry, the proc rate. Drake Fang Butcher. I remember having this on my paladin. That is a very Mega Sister weapon. Can't argue with the effectiveness of. Princess Theradris' scepter, but this sword? It is a minor DPS downgrade, but it has 15 strength. And the wound... I mean... Would it be an upgrade? 15 strength, it probably is. I don't know. We've got so many weapons here that are all so similar. I don't know anymore what is an upgrade and what isn't. Uh pole arm that I have no idea who would use this. Fire resistance. <laughs> a plus defense ring with, if it had strength and stamina on it, would be good. Uh, same with an offhand with some spell power. Here is your mate, Tuga. It's been good spending some time with you. The mate is thanking me. What are we going to take here? Just a flat 120 armor on the ring. Is that even worth taking for tanking? I don't feel like 120 armor is that much. 
when you already have 2,600. Um, yeah, let's just take this and sell that. Doesn't look like there's a follow-up. Uh, let's go do this other turn in. Where are we up to? Weaver. I don't remember who Weaver is unless these are the two dragons. Uh, there's two dragons at some point. These must be the two dragons because they have the same uh, loot pool. Uh, I, I would be very keen for this. I, I think it would be a very greedy move to take this weapon if someone in the group, uh, someone else in the group wanted it as well, considering what I already have. But uh, I, I would very much like that sword for style purposes. Hazars. Okay, we've got three dragons all with the same stuff. So hey, at least that increases the chance we may get a Drake Fang Butcher. More Faz as well. Okay, so there are four dragons all with the same loot table. You know, that actually... That actually brings back a memory. I knew someone who said they, at level 60, soloed Sunken Temple over a hundred times to get this Drake Stone because the random enchantment that it can have... I believe it can have also spell power, so it's spell power on top of spell power. Um, and at the time, it was the best offhand you could have if it had a perfect uh, random enchantment on it. Final boss. I mean... That would be pretty cool. Look, this is a one-handed sword. That's as big as the two-handed sword before. That is that is meaty. I mean, if you got this, you would have to use it, even if it's not good. I think there'd be quite a few people wanting that, though, if it dropped. Uh, where's our turn in? Is he ever... Oh, it's in the building? Ah, potential customer. Yes. Be good. Good work. I'll start my analysis on these now. I can tell you right from the start, though. These are nothing like any insect form I have ever seen. It's almost as if these bugs are being controlled by an outside force or something. You need to go talk to Fizzledowser right away. Apparently, there is an emergency that he needs your help with on the double. I'm not sure, but I think it involves more of the bugs in the Tanaris Desert. Oh, boy. Oh, this is just terrible. I sent out my top assistant, Junior Surveyor Scrimshank, into the desert southeast of here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't think we're going to be doing that today. Even though it would be good to knock everything out. I'm going to guess that's actually in a tunnel, so it would be a bit of a pain in the ass to do. Let's finish looking at this stuff. Intellect Spirit, Mail Helm. Uh, that would be a perfect uh, healing helm. <clears throat> Dragon's Eye, Stamina Spirit. What is with all the Stamina Spirit gear? Uh, a wand with Nature Resist. I'm pretty sure I wanted this back in the day. Uh, interesting Shield. Got a little bit of everything on it. Tooth of Aranicus. Pretty sure I tanked with this. Back in the day. A dagger we don't care about. And the Essence. Which will give you poisons all enemies in an 8 yard radius around the caster. Victims of the poison suffer 50 nature damage every 5 seconds. That's actually really good, but a 45 second length of damage. Like, what are you going to be fighting that's living for 45 seconds with a 15 minute cooldown? Sure, there could be some very specific circumstances where uh, that would be handy, but uh, I mean, yeah, it's better than a carrot on a stick. Speaking of, I always forget to put this bloody Mark of the Chosen on. And this one does absolutely nothing because I never use it. I need something that doesn't require on use. Either way, um, I think that'll that'll do us for the day. Not entirely sure what we'll be doing tomorrow. Uh, we'll figure it out though. I'll have a think about it. it. It'll probably be the Hinterlands, but maybe we'll end up uh, jumping into another Mara. A bit sad I, I wasn't able to use my lockout for Mara today, but I just ran out of time, unfortunately. Uh, either way, uh, we, yeah, we, we did ding... I don't know if I mentioned this before, but we did ding 51. So let's aim for 50% through 51 tomorrow. Thanks for hanging out with me. I will see you then.